What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. Also, the stock market is currently up today, so we're going to be discussing that as well. On this channel, for the past couple of weeks, since we hit 3858, we've been discussing that Bitcoin very likely has already found its low and that we're very likely going to be seeing a continued bullish reversal. We also discussed the possibility that Bitcoin may be forming a bump and run bullish reversal pattern. Before we get into the analysis, I talked about this in the last video and the stock market is currently seeing a nice rebound. People are saying that, okay, well, we, we are now seeing like, you know, 3 million people unemployed and that number is going to be going up to 6 million. And this is the highest level since the Great Depression, which means that we're going to be entering the next Great Depression. I'm personally still skeptical of the idea that we're going to be entering the worst recession, the worst depression, whatever, that we've seen in a very long time. I'm a little bit skeptical of that right now because the crisis that we're in is a is a global health crisis. It is a virus that has spread across the world, right? So we've seen economic shutdowns due to a health crisis. This was not started by a financial crisis, right? But so my point here is that you can't compare what's going on right now with 2008 or the Great Depression. It's, it's, it's uncomparable. Even though we have high levels of unemployment right now, once the economy turns back on and the government says everyone can get back to work, we will probably see record levels of uh, people being rehired again as well. Just as fast as we saw, as we saw people get unemployed, I think that that, that number is gonna drop uh, once the economy turns back on and companies and businesses can afford to rehire everyone. But that's just my current guess. We'll see what actually happens. And before we get into the analysis, hit the like button on this video. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Now guys, the platform that you see me use in all these videos is the Crypto Watch platform. Check this out. Let's say I wanna take profits on my Ethereum trade and I just click Ethereum, scroll down to the exchange that I wanna trade on, click on Coinbase Pro, hop over to the right tab, open that tab, and I can just immediately click and sell Ethereum right now. It's that easy, guys. But anyway, that's what I love most about the CryptoWatch platform. It's very convenient. You have everything you need. Now I'm just gonna click on the View Asset Cards tab and it'll bring me to the homepage here for CryptoWatch. So right now, Bitcoin is currently up 4.6%. So we are seeing nice bullish moves today. Ethereum up 3.7% today, and all the top cryptos are following Bitcoin to the upside. So let's check out the Bitcoin price. There's one thing that I've been talking about for the past couple of weeks that is very important for my viewers to understand. It's a very important thing to understand when you're analyzing charts for any market, really. If you're trying to identify trend reversals, right? Let's take a look at the weekly chart. You know, identifying trend reversals is a huge part of trading. There's commonalities between all of our peaks and lows. You know, just mark up our $20,000 peak, the $6,000 temporary support, the $3,100 low, the $14,000 peak, and the $3,858 low. What, are, what do all these areas have in common? Well, the $20,000 level has high levels of volume. Same with the $6,000 temporary support, high levels of volume. $3,100, high levels of volume. $14,000 peak, high levels of volume. $3,858 uh, low, high levels of volume. So if you're just looking at all these areas, you know, all peaks and lows have the highest levels of volume in their local area. And right now, 3,858 has the highest levels of volume by far, almost in any, uh, almost, you know, out of all of these peaks and lows, actually where we just hit our low at 3,858 shows the highest levels of volume. And to me, that is an indication that we very likely just hit a long-term low and we are going to be continuing a reversal from here. And, you know, from the way that I'm looking at the chart, I think 3858 was our low, and those are the lowest prices we're gonna be seeing for a long time. So that's one key thing I want you guys to remember about where we are right now on this chart. We are most likely sitting at a low point, at a reversal point, and it's very likely that we're gonna see a continued bullish reversal from here. This is what I've been saying for multiple weeks, and I've been getting so much criticism for this, yet it's holding true, right? It's holding true as of right now. It's, we are continuing the reversal to the upside. Also, we've been talking a lot about a bump and run bullish reversal pattern. And as of right now, this pattern could still be in play. It's quite possible that uh, we actually may continue this bump and run bullish reversal pattern to the upside. Now, we have had a bearish indication because we broke below our you know upward sloping channel within this range. Right now, the price is re-entering this downward sloping um, channel. So we're finding resistance along this previous downward sloping support. If we can re-enter this channel and maintain support within this range, then this bump and run reversal pattern could play out. 
as of right now, as I've been saying, you know, from a volume perspective, we're seeing a lot of buy action here. We're seeing a lot of interest at these low levels, not all that much selling taking place. Um, you know, at, you know, looking at the four hour chart, there, there has been a steady decline in volume here. This tells me that we have not seen any major resolution from this um, pattern, from this consolidation here. We have not seen any major resolution. This next spike in volume here is very likely gonna be telling us which direction has the most momentum. The upside or you know the bulls or the bears. Personally, I'm still leaning bullish. We have a lot of buy volume here, a lot of accumulation, still maintaining higher lows along this area. And to me, it seems like the bulls are most likely gonna, gonna um, keep the momentum here. This descending volume trend, once we get resolution on this, whether we see major sellers step in here or major you know, buyer step in here. This is gonna be telling us which direction has the most momentum. We've seen continuous lower highs in this area. We actually just saw horizontal highs here, double top. Um, but if the bulls can manage to break into a higher high in this range, that would actually be a very strong indication that the trend is changing. Now, 6,800, 7,000 is that level we need to keep an eye on. If we get above 6,800, 7,000, that's going to be a strong indication that the bulls do have the momentum and very likely at that point we'd see an increase in um, buy volume here. And that would indicate that the trend is changing. So the level that the level that the market is going to be looking for at this point is 6,800, is going to be the 6,800, $7,000 region. Um, if, we, if we can get the price to actually break above this area, that would tell me that the bump and run bullish reversal pattern is playing out and it would tell me that the bulls have the momentum and we'd be looking to target the upside of this downward slope trend now coming in around uh, 7,350 or so. If we don't get the reversal that I'm looking for and we f create a lower high here and we continue to pull back, yeah, then at that point I'd be looking for, you know, at least the 50% retrace, the 618 as some downside targets, um, most likely be around 54, 50, 5,500 as the next downside target, which would also be coinciding with the 200 week simple moving average. Also looking at the S&P 500 today, we are currently, I'm looking at the weekly chart, we're currently up 3% today on Monday here. Right now, if you'll notice, we're coming up on this support zone from 2018. Um, and also this was acting as a little bit of support here at the end of 2018. And right now we're finding, you know, a little bit of resistance within this range. If the market can manage to actually create support along this level and continue up, at that point we would probably see a temporary reversal and maybe come back to test, you know, below 3,000 for the S&P. Um, and then, you know, maybe we'll see some increased levels of volatility here. And again, this is the first time, this is the first time since Bitcoin was released that we've actually seen a major downturn in the stock market like this. Um, Bitcoin has only experienced upside. And now we've seen the first major correction in the stock market for Bitcoin. And also here, you know, when Bitcoin found its low here in 2018, 2019, we were hitting these levels and we just hit these levels again and we hit the 3000 range again. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious that during each of these lows, Bitcoin re-enters the $3,000 range. So it is obvious that Bitcoin is correlated to the stock market. You know, if we see an increased level of volatility like this, um, is Bitcoin just gonna be following the S&P and just seeing like, you know, increased levels of volatility within this range? It's quite possible. Maybe we just see a lot of volatility until the stock market stabilizes again and continues to recover. You know, maybe at that point, Bitcoin will finally see a recovery. It's pretty hard to tell exactly what's gonna happen. Even though I do think Bitcoin did find its low at 38.58, we're, we're probably gonna see a lot of uncertainty within this range for Bitcoin as well, before any sort of major recovery. It's pretty hard to tell what the stock market is gonna do at this point, but at the very least, I think we're gonna be seeing some increased levels of volatility here. It's possible that eventually we, we have a continued recession at, at a later time. So before we end the video, I'm gonna leave you with this tweet I put out. I said, people are so comfortable buying Bitcoin on the way up, but they get so scared when Bitcoin is going down. The average novice trader or investor will cheer you on when you're buying into a Bitcoin pump at 10K, but then they will call you crazy when you accumulate after a crash. So again, a lot of people always say, that the masses are wrong, that, the, that the, the majority of people are wrong. Well, the vast majority of people have all been telling me that my bottom call for 3858, 
they've been saying I'm wrong and that we're going lower. I, I continue to hold firm that that is our low and that we are gonna see a continued reversal from here. I could be wrong about that. But uh, you know, most people are telling me that I'm crazy for accumulating Bitcoin and cryptos at these levels. But I think it's a great idea. And I think historically looking at Bitcoin accumulating at these levels has always been a great idea. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to sign up with the CryptoWatch platform. Also, join the Patreon if you wanna support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.